Okay, put it on. See how is it? Like this? Like, like, yeah, like a Wonder Woman. No, 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 no. There, right in your forehead to cover your wrinkle. Right there. No, that looks very beautiful, ma. What do you look, think? Look, look, what's wrong with that? That's nice. Wow! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm wet, don't worry. Oh, wow. Oh my, my, my. Oh my god, love you. Do you need water? That's my no, son. Thank you so much. That's my brother. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, ladies, you know the word. Yes. Hello, Hello honey! honey! <laughs> this is G Rosie. Our best friends. Yes. One. Thank Mom, you. Best friend. yeah. One. You probably already knew because if you're my fan, you watched the episode where I guessed who Mama Mai's best friend was, and I was right. Who is my best friend right now? By the way, she said right now because she normally hates people or unfollows them after like a few months. Three, two, one. Linda in Houston. J. Rosalina. Oh, Rosalina, Linda in Houston. Well, 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 let me tell you something. First of all, this is correct. Before we get to G. Rosie, I want to make sure all my fam out there, every single one of y'all who've been day oneers championing, championing, championing for us, please make sure that you hit the subscription bell, which is, where is it, Paul? Where is it, Paul? Where is it, Paul? It's somewhere. So look for the shape of the bell, hit it, so that way you know every Thursday when our episode is popping and ready for you. It's gonna give you a little ding. I don't know if it makes a sound. Does it make the sound? No. It okay, it doesn't make a sound, but you can make the sound with your own head. Also, um, the membership club. I know! Please, my fam, make sure that you join the membership club because it's where I see your comments first and foremost. And when you join the membership club, you not only get things like emojis that are me and Mama my based, episodes fresh and earlier than everybody else. You also get the behind the scenes moments that um, aren't always allowed on YouTube. And I also want to give a major shout out to Andresia France. You said in your comment that you live by the words, you don't get what you don't ask for. And you also sent me some well wishes when I was sick and you thanked Mama Mai, who gave you guys updates when I was in the hospital in the ER. Thank you. <laughs> so much. Could you be a little bit more humble? I am. I, say. I really appreciate everybody, you know, watch you and anyone know what's going on. We have to give props where props for due. How did you know I was sick and who communicated to you so that the family knew that I was sick? GJ. GZ actually communicated with my entire family yeah. when I was He's the one that let me know what's going on. Thank you for making sure Mama Mai knew what was going on, making sure my family knew that I was alive and okay, and then you letting the fam know, and Andresia joining my membership club, being a proud member for one whole year. I love you. Thank you so much for those well wishes. So her name is Rosalina, but if you want to join my fam, we call her J. Rosie, which means your sister, Rosie. So that's- Too many Vietnamese Rosie. So Just call her Rosalina. No, J. Rosie, or you can say J. Rosalina. What, so what do you prefer? Say it. Say louder. Say it. Say louder. What do you want? Rosalina call, call, or what? Call Rosalina. Okay. But in private, I will always be your Rosie. She say only you and never call Rosalina. Yes. Only, only you. you. She say only okay. her. I met Rosalina a long time ago. Like how many years ago? Oh my goodness. Like eight, eight to ten eight years. To ten years. Ten years. I felt like a very familiar connection. She carries all these qualities that really remind me of my mom. My mom is what I consider like Bob life, right? Bob being fresh off the boat. It means that you just- Not really, I'm different now. Hi, end. <laughs> right now, mama mine. <laughs> One of my favorite memories about you, Rosie, I don't think you know this, mom. So I had bought this house all on my own and I decorated with what I, I could mm -hmm. and G. Rosie came over and stayed in my guest bedroom. I used the same bed sheets. Oh my God, this makes me emotional. <laughs> This is so weird, okay. So when I bought this house, I spent money on the house and I decorated the house with money that I had to spend where people could see. But in my guest bedroom, I used my oldest sheets from like the first apartment that I lived in when I was like 19. If you have bed sheets, why would you throw them away? You just keep using them. And she, Rosie came and stayed at my house. I was grateful that she offered a place for me to stay when I visit, so. 
when I was in your room, I said, you know, oh, you like my daughter in a way, you know that. Yes. I went out and I got her sheets and bedspreads and everything to surprise you. She got me like quality nice bed sheets, quality nice pillowcases. Like my bedroom looked like a hotel. But the Vietnamese side came out. I didn't spend tons of money, get good quality, yes, you know, does. merchandise but you didn't waste any money. She taught me how to go get a hotel-like bedding set, but for an affordable price. You're worth a nice bed. You're worth nice sheets. I still hang on to things if they have value or meaning, but it's also okay to upgrade yourself when you've worked hard to deserve that. And I'll never forget that. I'll never yeah. forget that. I live in that room right now. I love it. That's why I'm thinking about her more. Aww. When I go to G. Rosie's house, you get a five-star experience. You always feel you're like in a lavish, moment taken away from the real world. She just makes you feel so warm and loved and royal. She's talented. Oh, thank you. Really good. You yeah. guys are major talented, no, so I think we get yeah, a lot Yeah, we know that, but, no, no, the but, yeah, but she's the more talented. talented. <laughs> yeah. I'm a third generation jeweler. This is all jewelry by Rosalina. You see how beautiful, rich and famous of Mama Mai, high end. So she's not only a jewelry designer who's worked with so many celebrities here in Hollywood, Paris Hilton is one of your favorites, yes. yeah. but she also is an executive producer. I cast a family for a show uh, about a year and a half ago. It came out like last month and I'm very proud of it. First ever reality series yes. about Asian American lifestyle. That's that. What is and the name? Yeah. It's called The House of Ho and it's on HBO Max. And I'm very yeah. so You better watch it. it. Show. Show. Yes. yes. And she's a mother and a loyal wife and a great best friend and a great big sister. Now it's my turn. Thank you. you talk too much. <laughs> my turn. We're oh talking my God, about her. My bra just in snap. Don't worry about her. <laughs> Me and her, you know, we. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> oh my God, you can see it. Okay, <laughs> there we go. You got it? Yeah. My turn to talk too much. She's my best friend, okay? We match everything, you know, because me and her, you know, like a, her hair color, my hair, not hair. Oh, over here. Whatever, the ring or earring we wear is, you know, you can see five miles away. That's the style we like it. Soul sister. Right, like a sister, you know what I mean? The only thing, you know, one elephant and one little mouse like me. <laughs> She's more bigger than me, no matter what. Like the the, 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 the card you give to us, one elephant, elephant and, mouse and one mouse. little mouse. <laughs> I show you, I show you the card right there, right there. Here. Now you see Paul, he gave me this one. You see, big elephant and little mouse, just like her. Big elephant and my daughter, little mouse. You know what I mean? <laughs> or me, we don't know. But we love her anyway. Anytime we arrive in the car, I let her sit in the front because she's big. <laughs> okay. Now, what how much do I love her? <laughs> because I would kill people if they Say that to me. So, Today we cook, okay, I cook bumbo hay and she cook, uh, what is it, um, egg roll. And my best friend come over today. I cook from my heart for her. Bumbo hay, really, really good bumbo hay. Uh, I don't know how to say in English, bumbo hay, like bumbo hay in Vietnamese. Spicy noodle soup. Yeah, it's spicy, but really good. And how about you, what you cooking, Rosalina? As your best friend, I'm making you your favorite. Yeah, ja ya, Vietnamese egg roll. But she like the short egg roll. I like the long egg roll. I don't know why she make the short it's one. Easier to pick it up and put it in your mouth. Mom might like the long one anyway, no matter Nobody what. Wants the short one. What? <laughs> that she make the short one. That's what I'm trying to tell you, my boy. The food is delicious, but something I upset about her. Okay, she's my best friend, but this is she screw up everything, fam. Tell me, am I right or wrong? I asked her to cut the meat. She used the knife to cut the meat, but the knife is not sharp. She didn't even ask me, Mama Mai, do you have a sharpener so I can, you know, make it sharp? She just shut her mouth, she just cut, cut, and later on, the meat come out, look like the dog by the meat. You know what I mean? <laughs> one small, one big, one fat, one skinny, ugly. And she's a professional cooking, you know what I mean? She's a chef cook. What's going on? She asked me to cut the meat. Right. We weren't doing any fancy dinner. It was for the the boys, the kids. The kids just like family dinner. The kids are more than 30 years old. What the hell are you talking about? Still, right? like the children. They can't. They just try to make a good excuse. Okay, okay, whatever. I'm visiting you at your house. It's not that important. So I just went ahead and cut the meat. I didn't ask for the sharpener. I tried my best. It didn't look that bad. It is because no, I, I put a video. It did not. Did not. I didn't think it was necessary, well, woman. 
Hey, let me tell you something. I'm teaching my kid and your kid to see anytime when you make a dinner, no, doesn't matter, small or big, you know. I put it on Facebook. I want to look nice, whatever. Look sloppy, look ugly. I don't like it anyway. That's right. That's the only thing we fight back and forth, back and forth. Whatever. Ever. That's the zero point. Now I give you one point about this. You remember, Ginny? Here, Ginny. Are you back? Come on, here. I'm back already. Come here. Come here. Remember about the the the, the trust of Jeju about the hair. I am. Very proud of this hat. Oh my God, that's hella cute. Guys, this is cute. Applaud if you like this hat. Applaud right now. Thank you. It's also cute from the back, like me. Trash or treasure? I like to borrow this one to go funeral. I need that. Whose funeral? My friend, her mom passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I have to go. I borrow that hat. I'm sorry, mom. Why not? No, I'm sorry. I feel bad oh. for your loss. Oh. <laughs> I thought you won't let me borrow the hat. You want to put it in the trash. You throw it away already. I went till you left. I took that hat back. My friend, the mother, passed away, right? That hat looked good on me. At that time, I had my outfit to go with the other hat. She's designer. She said, does it look good? I'm a very good friend, so I told her the truth. The truth. I said the hat you have on makes you look like cone heads. Right. You cannot be a cone head. So I said, let's make another hat. We worked together and we made an amazing hat. Right, with Let's the Let's see this hat, where is it? We understand each other all the time, you know what I mean? G. Rosie. Yes? Since we are in a code of honor, yes. I would like to know, does my mom talk about me to you? Okay, I have to be, be honest. honest. Yes, she does. What ah! she said? What, I already knew the answer. What does she say? Go. What does she say? This is the tell-all time. Come on. What does she say? You know, she tells me that you don't listen to her, that kind of thing. So, you know, it's just like little BS. Nothing bad, you know. Like, a, you know, when you have a, a GJ, whatever, you forget about Mama Mai. You don't worry about Mama Mai. You don't think about Mama Mai. Sometimes I feel bad about it. You Mom. know about that GJ? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean I forget about you? Well, anytime I call you, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. You know, you're never there with me. But when GJ is not there, mom, what do you need? What do you have? What do you want, mom? Okay, I'll be right there. I'm gonna help you. What, are you hungry? I'm gonna do something for you. But now when I call you, never answer the phone. I She's call you. in love. I know. I'm you really feel this way? I, are, you being, are you saying this for the show or are you being serious? I'm serious. That's what I let the whole television know about it. When you love, you forget about your own That's mother. That's not true. <laughs> Dennis, is that true? Yeah, it's very true. Yes. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. What do you mean? Um, Anytime we ask you, you answer in the <laughs> evening. You never answer right away. That's because I'm busy doing things. It's not because of Jay. Whatever. All the time. Wait. No, after this show, I hope you change your mind a little bit. Do I do it to you? <laughs> honest? Wait, I want to hear. Do I do no, it? I'm so, I'm so like, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't, uh, no, it's not to me. It's, it's to, to mom. I think, you uh, see it from, to, mm, I do it to mom? Mm, yeah, example. because I, tell me the example. Oh man, I, I Give me an example where I. Dennis, the other day I text Ginny. I told you, see, she's so not going to answer back to me. Five or six hours you answer back, it's too late. I don't have to ask you anymore. You know what I mean? The moment is gone. Anytime I text GJ, less than 50 minutes or the latest half hour, he texts back to me right away. The difference with you, four or five hours, or maybe you forget until the next day, I have to remind you. GJ, he texts back to me all the time. All the time. Even he say, good morning, Mama Mai, how you doing? What are you doing right now, Mama Mai? Are you he okay? Does? I miss you. I can show you the text. Yes, not you. He... Mom, are you okay? Mom, I want to tell you something. And then she talk about her. She didn't, you know, she asked me, how you doing? Mom, she didn't move and wait for me answer. I'm okay or what? That's you. But if you don't have GJ, mom, what do you need, mom? What do you want, mom? I do it right away for you. It's very oh different. Boy. When you have okay, GJ fine, involved. Fine, fine. I take pride in being as self-aware as possible so that I can be better. I'm taking your word, mom. I absolutely feel you, not just hear you, and I don't want to make you feel like you're second best. So I will work harder to be more attentive to you with all of your endless text messages and random bullshit things you ask me. I will make sure to be more timely in responding and being there for you. Good, I'm glad to feel guilty about it. Thank you. <laughs> we solve problems. 
Yeah. If you yes. message me less about dumb things, can we make a deal? What can I do? I will work harder to respond to you quicklier and to be more mindful about giving you the time you deserve. Right. Treating my mother like number one. You will stop messaging me these stupid pieces of news that you get off Facebook about raccoons what and ever. about nail colors <laughs> and about gossip about people Wait, that I don't care about. Hold on. That's the deal. Did you text her about and raccoons? Yeah. Once for a while. Not well, the time. Once for a while. She, she told me one time, when? Jeannie, make sure when you use your phone in public, you don't do like this guy. He's dangerous. Answer me right now. <laughs> I look at the video, it's this dude in Vietnam who's talking on the phone and another moped comes by and yanks the phone from his hand. And she said, I see you talk on the phone all the time in Beverly Hill, you be careful. Where in Beverly Hills is somebody hey. going to take my phone Wait. from my hand Wait, you never in know. these streets? Wait. Wait, yesterday you asked me, Okay. did you see all of the video I sent you on WhatsApp? Uh-huh. And I said- What were the videos of? Some real lady singing. <laughs> Didn't you see that? I go, Mama my, I was in a meeting like all day <laughs> yesterday. This is, I totally get it. I'm not against her, but I get her point. One Wait. time she called me. I came back to my phone with seven <laughs> missed calls. I was in the middle of an amazing, important TV pitch. I come out of the meeting, which you know when you have the momentum of a meeting, you don't want to stop people. So I was like, yo, my mom, I got so, seven missed calls. Let me go handle this. I step out, I go, Matt, what's going on? Are you okay? You see the video I send you? This is why you have to be careful with your car. Make sure you see the video. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? Did somebody break in my car? Did somebody post something where they vandalized my car? I don't know. I opened the video. It's this guy in Africa who parked his car underneath a coconut tree and the coconut tree ended up getting knocked <laughs> over by a typhoon that happened she has in 2004. Too much time in 2004. Her hand. And no. so the coconut tree landed on his car and he couldn't get the insurance to cover it. Just comment below if you have a mother or a family member or a crazy person in your life Not that so sends crazy. you That's, videos. I'll give you warnings. Like, comment, and tell us below what you love about you, Rosie. And we'll see you guys next time. If you want to follow G Rosie. Check her out right here in the link below. Follow her on Instagram. We love you, G Rosie. Thank love you for being a part too. of Hello. Yeah. yeah.